Well, we've been by Colpit Lane for about a week now. We are moving with our friends, Tony and Karen. Well, I am, Auntie's in work. So when I say we, I mean Dex and myself. We're going to move down through Stanthorne Lock, uh, Middlewich, then Wardle Lock, turn right, fill with water, go through King's Lock, go to the Winding Hole, turn round, ready to head towards the Bridgewater Canal. And hopefully the fuel boat's coming today, so we need a little bit of fuel. Dexter's doing well, he's had a second injection. Um, yeah, just seems a little bit perkier, which is nice to see. Well, here goes. This is only our second journey with a new system. Boat. Well, it's not even nine o'clock yet. Well, our friends Tony and Karen on Forenzi have gone forward. I managed to say Forenzi right this time. Um, through Stanthorne Lock. They've left one of the paddles open for me. Um, so hopefully it'll be nearly full by the time I get there. But I'm going to do this lock on my own. And then Tony's going to walk up and help me with Wardle Lock. We do like it here. This is the approach to Stanthorn Lock. It's quite tricky to moor here because part of the lock landing has worn away. You've got to get really close to the lock. <laughs> After climbing down the ladder onto the roof of the boat and then onto the deck of the boat, it's times like this that you appreciate how hard it is when you're cruising on your own. <laughs> that wasn't so lucky because I had to climb down that ladder. Uh, onto the roof of the boat. Not easy when you've got these massive covers on the roof. But I didn't have to moor up and go and close the gates behind me because that really kind gentleman, whose name I can't remember, uh, I know it's Liz Gulliver's husband, so apologies. I'm thinking Martin. I hope I get it right, but thank you for closing the lock gate. There's definite fresh smell in here and it does feel like spring is just around the corner. We're very excited because we've finally managed to book our passage into Liverpool. We've wanted to do this since we launched the boat. We both absolutely love Liverpool city centre and the people of Liverpool. I've worked there a lot. Auntie spent 16 years working there at the hospital at Aintree and uh, he had a right laugh with the staff there. So did I to be honest. But <laughs> had some wild nights out. Morning, I'm not sure if you're three minutes early or three minutes late. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's empty, somebody just closed the gates behind me. Oh, 
morning. You all right? Have you come up through Ward a lot? Yeah. Have you? Brilliant. So it's full, is it? Yeah. Brilliant. Cheers. I just love this weeping willow and it's really nice to see the first signs of spring. We're just filling with water. I've just grabbed a quick shave while I can because the water tank takes about half an hour, 40 minutes to fill sometimes. Uh, so yeah, just took me a couple of minutes. I'm trying to save time. Uh, once we're full, I'm going to go through King's Lock, like I said earlier, and then we're going to go to the Winding Hole, turn round. So we're facing this way towards the Bridgewater Canal. We're hoping that the lock at Middlewich that's been repaired is finished today at four o'clock. Although I did see a CRT working boat going up through water lock, so maybe they've finished already. Fingers crossed. Well, I've just rescued a boat that broke down and at the water point, so I told them back, right, um, Tony's here setting the lock, so I better concentrate. J and M story. It's unusual, isn't it? Look who I'm with, it's Will. If you've filthy not, thumbs up. Yeah, filthy thumbs up. Uh, we love Will's channel. If you've not seen it, check it out. <laughs> oh, this is handy, isn't it? These are the old lock gates that's just been replaced at Middlewich. People have asked us where we plug the boat in along the canal. Well, that would be great, but there's no way to plug the boat in along the canal unless you want to go into a marina and plug into shore power, which we have done a couple of times. And that's been great because that tops up your batteries, but we're continuous cruisers. So what we do, we rely on the sun to charge our solar panels. And as you can see from this video, the whole roof is covered in solar panels, apart from the skylight. In hindsight, I think less skylights, maybe one skylight and more solar power would have been better. We've got nearly two kilowatts of solar. We've got four 200 amp hour lithium batteries, giving us a total of 800 amp hours. Um, most of the lights, the spotlights that you can see in the ceiling, they're 12 volts, but we are very power hungry because we've got a coffee machine, we've got an electric hob, we've got an electric oven, we've got a small fridge freezer, and we've also got a separate freezer, which is under the dinette. We've got a washing machine on board. We don't have a dryer. Um, we tend to dry our clothes uh, on a hanger in the shower, or if it's a dry sunny day, we've got um, a prop mate, tiller mate, that we put on the prop uh, on the stern. Got a microwave as well. I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah, and obviously because we vlog, I use a lot of um, charging. We've got batteries to charge for the cameras and a laptop that we use for editing the vlogs. So. I will show you the new system that we've got on board. We have now got a 14 kVA Vetus generator. It's raw water cooled and it's fantastic. We're really, really pleased with that. We're hoping that the batteries will charge quicker so we don't have to run that generator as often. Um, you may have seen in previous vlogs people say, oh, you, you know, you are using a lot of diesel, but we've also got a diesel reflex heater and we have been told, and I think it's probably sounds about right from what we've experienced, that running the diesel reflex heater 24-7, which we have done in really cold spells, uses about 35 to 40 litres of fuel per week, which is a lot really, uh, but probably comparable to bags of coal, bags of log, and bags of logs and kindling uh, and it's more convenient we think so yeah we're really happy with the diesel reflex fire so come with me into the engine bay and i'll show you the generator that we've got and also the new motor that we've got and we've also got a larger prop i can't show you that the propeller because that's in the water but there is this video that shows you the propeller when the boat was lifted out of the water in january this is our new larger 16 by 11 propeller
and this is our new whopping generator from Vetus. It's raw water cooled and this should make it quieter than a keel water cooled generator. We've got to check these baskets now and again to make sure nothing's blocking the filters. This is our Enjiro motor. It's supplied by Lightning Craft and it's called a Direct Drive 10. It's a 10 kilowatt motor rated at a continuous 12 kilowatts. Well, we hope you found that interesting, but it's time to crack on with one of my commissions. And this is the lovely Bertie. <laughs> is it a bit wet out there, Anthony? Yeah, just a little. Do you want to get you get a move on? Yeah, I will. Wow, this is a busy road. We're just above King's Lock Pub, above the lock, heading away from Middlewich. Uh, Anthony's gone to set the lock. It's horrific today. It's raining, it's cold, and the snow forecast, but we need to crack on. The plan is to travel to, I did have a look last night, I can't remember how many miles it is now. I think it's about two and a half, three hours through Middlewich, drop off some rubbish at the rubbish point there, and then get to Oakwood Marina, and we're more in opposite Oakwood Marina. Is it spring yet? Yeah. <laughs> like my hat? Can't see it. Oh yeah? <laughs> the lady at work, Jackie. Can't oh, yeah, I'll come over. The lady that I work with called Jackie gave me this. It's fabulous, it's got a little torch on it. Yeah. Look. Don't blind us, oh yeah. <laughs> Has it gone off yet? No. Still on. Oh, I can have loads of fun with that. Like a minion. There's King's Lock Chippy. Fabulous Chippy, really friendly staff. That is actually snow that you can see. As you can see, we've just gone through Middlewich Wharf behind us. Uh, a boat was coming out of the lock, but our friends Tony and Cameron have just gone down in that lock, so Auntie's resetting it for us. God, that's so narrow there because you've got two holiday boats breasted up together and you've got private boats across the way. You can just get one boat through. So I'm glad Karen phoned to let me know there's a boat coming. Oh, so nice now, the rain's eased off. Anthony's doing all the locks today because he's still on his keep fit regime. Anthony walked ahead to set the next locks.
that's a tight bend coming out of that lock. And because our, bo our boat's 60 feet, you can't turn till the very last second. Our friend Helen and their dog Precious had walked down from their boat to Professor Pat Pendin to help Anthony with the locks. Anthony was going to leave me here, jump in the van and then meet me at my final destination. Right, see in a bit. Yeah, you know where you're going, don't you? Just ahead of me at Big Lock, Tony and Karen are waiting in their boat because it's a double lock and we were travelling down together. Downside, yeah. isn't it? I was traveling the. It's alright. Oh. At least it's not windy and cold. No. What? It's cold? It's a bit cold, but it's not freezing. Grounds are falling off. <laughs> Look at that. Actually, you might not. Look at that. that. It's horrible. <laughs> horrible. We were soon through Middlewich and just listened to this amazing bird song. Blinking out cold. <laughs> Just let me jump. <laughs> I'll get him back for that. Oh, blimey, it's freezing. I can only find one glove. I'm trying to steer with my foot. The birds on them, that was amazing, wasn't it? I think it's about 18 months, two years since we've done this stretch. Just past Bramble Cuttings, there were two boats more there. We love that spot. I think we don't even stay there one night. Oh. Yeah, I can't believe it's tried to snow. Really cold. These are the flashes, and it's a really lovely place to moor just before Oakwood Marina. I was about to moor the boat up and I was absolutely freezing. I had five layers on and I know what you're going to say, but I couldn't find my gloves and I couldn't find my hat. Open? <laughs> Is the cafe open? Uh, <laughs> might be round later. <laughs> what are you doing here? 
It was really nice to see our friends Paul and Amanda, but poor Amanda wasn't really dressed for the topper. Before, Not been anywhere, Paul! <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have any heels on. I thought you were in fact Right, let me step off. Hey, finally moored up. Not as close as to the bank as we normally are, because we normally have that spot where Tony and Karen are, but uh, we needed to move forward, and this is as close as we can get, but we've managed to moor up. Uh, then I hear somebody shouting, Paul! And it's only our friends, Paul and Amanda, off the Bickerstaff boat, the Sills, who we've known for years. Um, they're looking over at Aqueduct, so I'm going to join them for a coffee in a minute. Anthony's on his way, he's picked the van up, he's been on Russell and Helen's boat for a coffee. Wow, I've been freezing. But yeah, so glad to be moored up. And that was a good test of the system. I'll go and check what the batteries are on. We were on 70% when we set off this morning and we're now on 51%. That's not bad at all. Wow, we've had an amazing day. It was cold, it was raining, it was snowing at one point, and we've even had hailstorm this afternoon. Thankfully, we'd cruised and moored up by then. So, we had that shout from Amanda and Paul, who were over at, um, <sighs> oh, Quad Marina. It's been a long day. And they were just having a look round, so we met them at the cafe, and we had a lovely afternoon. We spent about two and a half hours chatting to them until they were ready to close. Uh, so they've gone off for a ride up to Aqueduct Marina, and they're going back to their boat tonight. They're such a lovely couple. We met them a few years ago when they first bought their Bicker staff, and we all had a Christmas get-together. And then tonight, we've had Tony and Karen over. Anthony's done us a lovely dinner. Uh, Anthony's gone to bed. He's replying to all the comments. Dex has gone to bed. He's just been out. We're all shattered. It's only, oh, well, actually, it's 11 o'clock. So we're going to go to bed, and we shall see you in the morning. We're going to move the boat towards Anderton, just before the boat lift. Oh, how do you like our little bonsai tree? I've wanted one of these for years and made up with that. <laughs> 